All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to export a default Excel spreadsheet from our app so that you have the proper layout for your data that'll uh, connect well with Merch Titans Automation and allow you to push that automatically to all the uh, integrations and marketplaces we support. So with that being said, you'll wanna go ahead and open up Merch Titans Automation. And once, you, once that's opened up, you'll see this home screen here. So over here, you'll see Export Default XLSX Layout. So this is what you're looking for. You want to click on this and then it'll pop up a window asking you to save it somewhere. So I'm going to save it to my desktop so that can uh, explain this further. So layout.xlsx. You can name that whatever you like. Uh, I recommend that you do um, your designs in batches. So if you have a specific type of niche that uh, you're building multiple designs in, then it's good to have that niche with its own spreadsheet of data so that everything's a little easier to do. So I'm going to save that, and now you can see up here I got the layout. So I'm going to go ahead and open this Excel file. Now, if you don't have Excel on your computer, uh, what you can do is just actually go to Google Sheets, which is free, and just uh, open up this file, and then you can add all your data just on it, just the same way I'm going to do here, but inside of Google Sheets. And then when you're done with it, you'll just go to Save As or Download As inside Google Sheets and download it as an XLSX file and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll explain this layout real quick. Let me just uh, expand these columns. All right, so over here in column A, you have image path. This is going to be the image path, uh, the file path for your designs. So that's very important. We'll get to that in a minute here. Column, P, go, column B, we have title, which is the title of your product on all the platforms. Uh, column C is your description. Column D is your tags. Column E is the primary tag for T Public, And uh, column F here is Merch by Amazon Brand. Column G is Merch by Amazon Bullet number one. And column H is Merch by Amazon Bullet number two. So with that being said, the great thing about Merch Titans Automation, if you come in and add your file paths for your designs, come in and fill out all this data, across the board, what you can do is actually run simultaneous uploads to all seven uh, plus platforms that we support at the same time. So that's what's great about filling out the entire spreadsheet. Now, it's not necessarily required. Maybe you're only uploading to, say, Spreadshirt and Redbubble. Um, you could just come in and fill out these four columns here, and you're good to go. And you do also have flexibility. So if you wanted to add uh, other columns over here, for instance, I'm going to put main keyword here. Um, and I'll have that column, which is good. You can use it for different reasons. But inside of Merch Titans Automation, you can actually map the important parts of each platform. You can map the title, description, and tags inside each platform to whatever column in Excel you like. So knowing that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is want to copy the file path for all of our designs. So I'm going to go over to my um, camping folder here. I have some camping related designs that I'm using for this uh, video. So what you, I recommend is you can always use your mouse, come up here and um, highlight all these just like that and then go back to the top one hold in shift and then right click and then go to copy as path. So now when you copy that, you can come over here and just right click and paste or use control V to paste. And now I have the file path for every uh, one of those designs, just like that. And if you look at the actual name of my designs, I have MTA underscore the actual um, design name, which is uh, the text inside of the design. So always take the scenic route here and so the adventure begins would be the second one, camp hair, don't care, etc. So what I, the reason I like to name my file paths with uh, something relevant to the design is I can actually just take this entire, um, let's copy this entire column. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this uh, row right here, just this uh, cell actually, and hold in control shift with the down arrow, which will highlight the entire row of data, and then control C to copy. And I'm gonna come over to this main keyword field, and I'm gonna right click and paste it, and now I want to do a find and replace to get rid of the, uh, the uh, fields I don't need because I just want this name here. So I can actually go from MTA underscore all the way back, Control C to copy, select this entire column, go up here to find and select, and then go to replace. And uh, input that full path, and then I want to replace it with nothing. So hit replace all. Now you can see I almost have everything I want. I got the .png in there that I don't want, so I'm going to do the same thing again find and replace. Let's get rid of everything in this cell here and type .png and then again replace with nothing. 
So now I actually have pretty much the primary keyword for each of these designs because early on when I was making these designs, then I made sure to name them uh, what I wanted them named. So it made this process easier when I'm setting up a spreadsheet. So I recommend you do the same. That's not required. Again, in this uh, video, I'm gonna show you a few shortcuts that I like to use so that you can start taking advantage of those. So now we need to go over, we got our file path. I'm gonna sh make this uh, column a little shorter. We got our title, so I'm gonna actually want to fill out this title. So let's go and use this formula equals with two quotation marks. And I gotta keep the title very similar to the name of the product. So I'm gonna do another quotation then and, which allows me to select the cell of data over here. You can just move your mouse over and select it, or of course you could put in the uh, I2 yourself or whatever field those keywords are in. And then do and again, then another quotation, and I'm probably gonna add gift on the end. So that way it grabs the entire keyword from this main keyword column over an I, and then uh, it's gonna put gift in there. So if I hit enter, let's expand this. Uh, you can see that it has always take the scenic route gift. And of course I could put camping gift, which is probably what I'll do. And then I'm gonna control C, and I come over to this uh, field, select everything, control V, and now I have my title. Now, of course, you don't have to use these formulas. I'm just showing you a way. Uh, you can obviously go through and input all these titles in manually, uh, however you like. Same thing with descriptions, tags, etc. So now with descriptions, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna use a similar, similar formula. Um, just keep it very generic for this video. But of course, you can get as creative as you like. So I'm gonna say this, whoop. Let's get this formula in play again, I2. So you can grab that keyword, product makes an excellent gift for anyone that loves camping whoop, and outdoor adventures. All right, I'm gonna keep it that simple. Then hit enter again, control C, copy the formula, and then go over to a column that has data as far down as you like, and then control um, down arrow to get to the bottom, then move your arrow one over, hold in control shift, and then your up arrow, and then control V. Now you could always just grab this uh, cell and then just use hold and shift and use the down arrow like this to highlight everything. But the other shortcuts are just a lot quicker, especially when you're dealing with hundreds of rows of data. All right, so now moving on, I'm gonna keep the tags all pretty similar because all of these designs are um, quite similar. And again, they're inside the camping niche. So I already have some of the tags that I like over in my uh, other spreadsheet. So I'm going to come over here, just copy those, and I'm actually going to uh, paste. It's the same thing. It's the same formula. But actually, I'm not using the main keywords. So I didn't really need that. So we're going to put the tags in here. Again, you could come through if you like camping, hiking. All you have to do is remember to separate your tags with a comma. That's how our app will take in the data and know that it's a different tag. So always separate your tags with a comma. So camping, hiking, nature, outdoors, mountains, camp, quote, birthday, present, gift, adventure, etc. So I'm just gonna go with those ones for now. And then all these are very similar. And one thing I do recommend is you keep your, you input your main keyword as a tag. Um, it's always really important. The tags are really important. And if you need more ideas for uh, really popular tags that are being used across multiple print-on-demand platforms such as Redbubble, Spreadshirt, uh, Etsy, you can go over to automation.merchtitans.com and go up to our tools menu. We have some free tag generator tools that will go out to Redbubble based on your main keyword. So just input a keyword and then hit search. Uh, it'll ask for your email address the first time, but then you can use it for free forever. So uh, go over there, input your main keyword, run a search. It'll go out to Redbubble. It'll sort by the best products or whatever platform you're trying to generate tags for. And then it'll return the most, the most used and most popular tags from those best selling products. So you can simply copy and paste them over here into your spreadsheet. So that's a nice tip for you. So now that my tags are done, the main tag, I'm gonna make it my main keyword. This is for TeePublic only. So again, we'll just go, in fact, we don't even need to do that. We just come and grab this main keyword over here and paste it. So now we got the uh, image path, the title, description, and tags complete, and the primary tag for TeePublic. So now for the rest of the data, we need to merge by Amazon brand, um, the bullet number one and bullet number two, and then this spreadsheet is done. Now again, you don't have to use these formulas. You don't have to use these shortcuts. You can go through and fill this out manually. On the file path, I definitely recommend you use that for, uh, shortcut 
because it's really easy to grab the, the exact file path um, for each of your designs, even if you have hundreds of them. Now let's get let's continue on. So merch by Amazon brand. Let's keep this simple. Camp and Clothes Co. And I'm going to copy this down for all of these designs. Now let's go over to bullet number one. And let's just uh, write this in. I'm going to keep it the same for all of them. That should do. Copy that down. And then merch by Amazon bullet number two. Now, of course, you know, if you have more time on your hand, uh, or more time on your hands, you can go through and make each of these bullet points very specific to each design, which is better, definitely better long term. But for the sake of this video, I don't want to waste your time. I just want to show you how to actually set up the layout for Merch Titans automation so that you can have a smooth upload process, not run into any issues. It's so now merch by Amazon bullet number two. Let's uh, put some information in here. All right. And then that is it. So you want to control S to save or go up to uh, file save or you can save as if you want to name the spreadsheet something else but file save now the uh, spreadsheet is done and let's just recap one more time so we have the image path over here um, we copied that from our folder of designs again you could come into this folder and just select all like this again hold and shift go to the top one always right click while you're while you're holding and shift and then you'll have the copy as path option or you can click in here and hit Control A to select everything and again go to the top image, the top design, hold and shift, right click, copy as path. And then you can come over here and simply paste that file path into here. You see there's the full path. You don't want quotations around your path. Usually if you copy only one file path it'll have quotations. So what I recommend is you remove those quotations if you do that. Now that is done. We got our title and again it's using a formula. You can see it here. And it's grabbing the main keyword from column I over here, which again we got from our image path because when I set up these designs, I named them exactly what I wanted them named, kind of including the main keyword. It's long tail, but that's what I wanted. So that is how you set the formula here. Then of course the generic description with again the main keyword. And then you got your tags, the primary tag for TeePublic, the Merch by Amazon brand, the Merch by Amazon bullets, one and two. And that is it. Now, of course, if you wanted to use unique titles for, let's say, Redbubble and Spreadshirt, and you wanted to have different titles uh, or even tags for those, you could come over here and just go, let's say, Redbubble. Just create a header here. Redbubble title, Spreadshirt title, Redbubble tags, Spreadshirt tags. And then, you know, you could save this and input the tags you want to, or the title you want to use for Redbubble here. Let me expand these so you can see them. Um, and you could expand, put your red, uh, Spreadshirt titles here, your Redbubble tags here, and your Spreadshirt tags here. And of course you can do that for every platform. And if you go inside the app, you go to Redbubble, and let me actually select this spreadsheet first. Give me just a second. Because I just saved it, so it should, uh, so you can preview the data here now. And everything looks good. So if I come over here, I don't actually have data in these uh, columns, that's why they're blank. But I should still be able to Go to the advanced settings and map the columns. So yeah, I see come down here to the red bubble. This is red bubble and then the title column. So if I wanted a unique title for red bubble, I could come down here and go red bubble title. Which I don't know why it's not. Oh, there we go. So red bubble title and then of course the same thing for descriptions and tags. And you could do that on every single platform. So that is how you map your uh, columns. And that's how you have control over setting up a custom layout. You don't have to follow our layout, but you definitely need to make sure you have your title description and tags that's the most important thing and then in the case of t public you got to have the primary tag and for merch by amazon of course you have to have the brand then bullet number one and bullet number two and column a is always the file path so never change that column that has to be the file path that is how our app works and operates so keep it that way but anyway that is how you set up your spreadsheet so when it's done you could save it and again if you're using google sheets um, you can just when you're done I recommend you save it in Google, but then go to the file and then go download as and download as an XLSX file, which is Excel, and then you'll be good to go. So once you're done, again, you can go select the spreadsheet here. 
upload it. And then if you need more um, help and tutorials, we have a training video for every single one of these platforms. So just check out our training video section and it'll show you how to adjust your settings for every one of these platforms. And then you could start the app. But that's it for this video. If you need any help or support, feel free to email us. That's it. I will see you in the next one.